Okay, today is January 13, 2014. Let's take a look at the uh, stock, some of the stock, and also the uh, ETF, the spider that I tweeted uh, throughout the day uh, during the session. And uh, by the way, uh, before I proceed, uh, just to let those uh, uh, people that might not uh, be aware that if you want to follow me, you can also follow me on, uh, you know, Twitter or, you uh, you know, when you uh, get into my blog. And if you have any uh, comment, you know, just click on the comment section and then just, uh, you know, scroll down and then uh, input whatever comment or suggestion that you might have. Or if you want to keep it, uh, you know, private, just go to the contact page and just send me the message. And uh, and and don't don't be concerned about your email address being stolen or anything like that, because those are all uh, keep uh, private. As you can see from my blog, uh, I have no ad, or I'm not uh, doing these video to promote any kind of service or any kind of a product that I'm trying to push. And if you'd like to uh, subscribe to email, you can also uh, you know subscribe this, and and then when I post this, uh, the uh, blog posting, then it will automatically uh, uh, send to your email. Uh, so that way uh, you kind of uh, get the uh, get the blog posting. Okay, so uh, so just uh, you know just want to alert you uh, some of the way that you could uh, follow me or get the uh, uh, blog posting if you're interested. So anyway, let's go and uh, take a look at the spider. Uh, we see that the uh, you know the spider actually uh, you know got a the entire market kind of sold off today. So uh, you know it's basically something that uh, everybody was kind of waiting for. You know, looking for this pullback, and then when we get these pullback, then everybody get hysterical and that kind of stuff. So, but right now we're basically looking at the uh, the close of this uh, this level here. We're basically looking at a 181.49 and 181.40, and right now, you know, basically it got um, you know it closed above that. And it seems to be holding the support here, and also we have this Fibonacci retracement breakout level here. So uh, right now we seems to be uh, you know still. Although, yeah, it's kind of a little bit uh, uh, undaunting because, uh, you know, we haven't seen these kind of pullback for quite a while. So everybody kind of get a little bit of a shocker. But, you know, it's all still good because right now it's still kind of hanging in on this uh, trend line here. So until we break this trend line and then come back down, then, uh, you know, we basically have to go uh, and just trade what we see right now basically is still on a rising trend. It's just that, uh, you know, we just have to be a little bit more defensive and more selective because right now the market is getting very really extended and it become a, yeah, it may be sound like a cliche, but, you know, it is a stock picking uh, market. You know, if you're a stock picker, then you'd be able to go and selectively find those uh, stock or, or those instruments that you want to trade that, you know, have a, uh, you know, high probability of, uh, uh, you know, meeting your uh, your criteria. But other than that, you know, you can't just throw thought at it and then look for a trend to carry it up, uh, like, you know, in the last couple of years. That's why there's a lot of people, you know, were able to make a lot of money just closing their eye and throw a thought at a piece of paper. And probably uh, most likely they have a good probability of making some money. But once we get into the, uh, you know, the extended period where the market is kind of, you know, we're getting choppy, uh, that's uh, when it gets a little tricky. And that's when uh, most of the people lose their money. So we just have to be careful about that. And, uh, you know, don't be greedy and just basically take what the market gives you. So that's basically the spider. And then the other one that we uh, also look at uh, was, uh, I think it was Twitter, right? So let's take a look at Twitter. Basically, we're talking about Twitter, uh, uh, you know, looking at this this level here, okay? And if it can't hold this level, or can't get back above that level, then we're basically looking at to maybe come back down here uh, to this particular zone here, somewhere around this uh, 54, 55 and a half level. Okay? The reason we're looking at this particular support level here at this close is if you can see that there is a, like a, a uh, little bit of a, uh, you know, this this H pattern here, we're talking about using this particular uh, peak here, and here's the pivot for that H. And uh, if we want to uh, also take a look at a little bit more of a uh, uh, closer term of that H, we could look at this particular, uh, you know, H pattern, you know, that, uh, that we could be forming. But uh, right now, we basically have to, uh, you know, get this price to uh, come back up. Uh, to get to this level to give us a little bit of a pivot. So right now, essentially, I'm playing, uh, you know, this pattern here. So if we're going to come down, you know, so essentially, if we, uh, you know, move this up, uh, you could either play either one. Uh, so just as long as you, uh, you know, use the proper uh, uh, risk management. And you can see that if we uh, come down here, break this level here, essentially, we're looking for a 127 extension or a minus 127 or 141. 
right? So that get that get this thing down to 55. Now, if we come down, if, let's say it continue to step up and then come back down here, okay? Then we could eventually get down to this. Uh, what I'm looking at is the possibility of getting down to uh, this uh, IPO high, which is somewhere around the 50 level, I believe. You know, this particular level here, okay? So if we uh, if we take a look at this, uh, you know, this little pivot here. And, uh, and and then we want to go and let's do this. So you essentially see that the 161, okay, is pretty close to that 49 or that 50 level here. Right? Essentially, we're looking at something like this here, you know, in this pattern here, coming down, maybe possibly attack this particular 161 level here, okay? So that's basically uh, a tweeter. Uh, essentially, yeah, you could, I think, you, you know, you can make a case that for a, uh, a bullish uh, a side as well, you know, if we want to take a look at it this way here. So, you know, let's say, uh, let me get the uh, Fibonacci retracement tool up here so we could uh, kind of get this thing uh, set up. All right, let's say we go to this peak here, all right, and then play the low. Okay, so we're basically swinging this guy here. So a lot of people are going to be talking about this 50% retracement right here, right? Okay, so we're essentially talking about this 50% retracement and then they, you know, kind of come back up. Now, the thing is, you look at it last time, it came down to the 618. It tried to bounce and then unable to, get, you know, take out this high here. And it came back down and then now this time it's coming down to that 50%. So essentially, if you look at it, you know, it's essentially forming a lower high and sort of a lower low, right? So that's a, uh, you know, a little bit of a definition of a uh, sort of a downtrend, if you want to call that. Right? If you want to play by that, that you call this your know, higher high, higher low as an uptrend, then this is a downtrend. So I'm not sure that you want to play this Fibonacci retracement based on this type of price formation. Okay, but uh, you know anything is possible. It just uh, you know depending on how you manage the risk. Like I said, you know either side of the trade that you take, there's always a possibility and a probability for you to make money. It's just a matter of managing your risk. Okay, so now the next one we want to take a look at is Tesla. And by the way, I am uh, short on Tesla here, uh, do some put. So I'm looking at this. Again, we're basically looking at this H pattern that I call it. And just, you know, somebody just coined this H pattern because basically it really, it's just a nothing more than a retracement, right? And it's, it just coincides to the retracement with the Fibonacci retracement, right? So here's how we look at it, this guy, right? So what I'm saying is that, hey, if it come down to this 120, right? So essentially it just gives you a little lower case H, right? That's why people call it, or some people call it an H pattern. So if we break this down, and what I'm basically looking at, you know, it, see, see it come and uh, retrace it up to the 50% point, and then went back down here, what I'm looking at is somewhere around this 100 level. That would be my primary target. Now, it could also be, uh, you know, we might get a little bounce once we get to this uh, 120, who know, right? So that would be my initial target. You know, right now, you know, with the put or the short, uh, then basically playing this target. And if you come back up above this pivot, then you, uh, you know, you can set your stop anywhere above that level and see what kind of risk you want to take, or even you could set it here. So again, it's all depend on what your risk tolerance is, right? Nobody could tell you how to trade or how to set your stop. Uh, uh, it's all have to base on what is your, well, what, what, what I call a threshold of pain, okay? You know, I hate to put it that way, but that's basically what it is, right? You know, so, okay, so that's basically uh, Tesla. And what's the other one? Uh, okay, let's take a look at Facebook, okay? And Facebook here, I was, uh, you know, in the last video on the weekend, I was basically saying that, hey, we want to take a look at this guy here to make sure that it will take out this, uh, this, uh, uh, you know, this uh, uh, engulfing candle because it got a little inside bar here on Friday. Right, and this close here is basically the same as this close here, which is uh, somewhere I believe is 57.22. So you can see that today, you know, that Friday, you got a little bit of an up candle. And not sure, like I said, you know, because of OPEX, who know what the heck they are trying to do here? Is it really a, uh, a, a valid price movement or just, uh, you know, some of the uh, OPEX pending, uh, you know, game, gamesmanship? But today you can see that it's actually coming back down. And right now, you know, essentially, it's just kind of retracing itself a little bit. So I'm still kind of waiting for it to take out this high. If it come out and take out this high, then I'd be looking at it too maybe consider re-entering a, a long position. But uh, right now it's still good. You know, it's a, to me, it's a no-trade uh, zone, you know, basically no-trade uh, area. 
But uh, if you're holding long, you know, if you got in a, in a little bit lower prices, then just kind of manage and protect your profit because uh, you never know it could uh, come back down to this uh, 63, I mean, this 5360 level. And if it break this trend line, then there will be some, uh, you know, concern. I, I would be a little bit concerned if it uh, break this trend line. So right now, until it does that, uh, I probably just uh, sort of managing uh, the risk by protecting your profit. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't be, uh, you know, uh, adding or taking any new long, initiating new long until it could demonstrate to me that I could take out this uh, all-time high uh, with some conviction. And that kind of conviction doesn't, doesn't mean with volume. It doesn't matter. It's just basically I have to see how the price uh, action or how the price behave when it gets to that point. So we just have to uh, keep an eye on that when that time comes. Uh, the other one I want to look at, let's see, we look at uh, Tesla already. Uh, so let's look at Amazon. Okay. So here's Amazon again. You know, we're talking about Amazon that I got uh, shaken out last Friday. And again, similar to Facebook, I'm basically looking forward to, uh, you know, get me up to uh, this, uh, this all-time high here. Then I will consider looking at, uh, you know, possibility of, uh, long setup and, and trigger until then, uh, we're basically just going to sit tight. So right now, it's kind of broken this little trend line here. Okay, uh, uh, It might be uh, setting up to uh, do a little bit of a consolidation in this band here. Then then if that's the case, uh, when that time comes, uh, what we will do is, is instead of playing this uh, little small trace of Fibonacci retracement, we're going to play this right here, this big uh, you know swing here. Okay. Okay, to uh, get a little bit of a uh, newer price. Let's say, for example, the uh, you know the uh, the you know this price actually come down to this uh, 380, 381 area. You know this uh, 78.6. So essentially, let's say it come back down here and then come back up. Then we're basically looking at maybe somewhere around this at least this uh, 432 or 447 as a target. Right, the next time around, if it could, you know, let's say it come down here. And who knows, it might even come back down to this 363 and then come back up, all right? So we could pay, you know, this target or this particular target. So we got these uh, two level, you know, if it uh, pull back. So uh, that might not be a bad thing for it to consolidate down here, okay? But in the meantime, if it uh, take out this high, then I will also uh, keep an eye on, uh, on the price uh, action to see is it more the, the, you know, some opportunity to go uh, swing, swing long on this guy. And uh, let's see, finally, okay, let's uh, finally, let's take a look at Apple here. Also mentioned Apple, you know, you got this uh, long-term trend line here. Well, not necessarily long-term. I mean, it's a, uh, it's an intermediate term, you know, a few months. And essentially, it came down and kind of tested that. And it held, you know, even though it went to it, you know, uh, you know, I think it's nearly open. Uh, it came back up, although it kind of faded throughout the day, you know, in the midday. Uh, but it's still able to close uh, above this trend line. So we just kind of keep an eye on this. And if uh, it cannot hold, then maybe we're looking, you know, if, let's say if it cannot hold this particular level somewhere around here, right, then maybe we uh, be looking at, you know, coming back down to this, uh, you know, 512 or even maybe uh, down at this level here near the 500 level, right? You know, so that would be uh, some, some kind of nice number there on this, uh, you know, this 500 level. You know, 505 and somewhere around here, you know, maybe, okay, so there'll be a 490, okay. So, but right now we're basically still looking for this uh, Apple to uh, see if we could hold above this trend line. If we could all hold above this trend line, then there's still that opportunity or the possibility for it to come back up to this, uh, you know, 570, 570 area. And then maybe it could take that out, then we could, uh, hope then we could uh, put up a uh, new uh, Fibonacci retracement, maybe get it down here or, you know, get it here. I think over here, the swing might be a little bit too small, but if we get it up here, so it come down here, essentially it get close to that 618 and then go up and we might, uh, you know, be able to see this uh, 602 or 620 level, okay, for the swing here. Uh, did I talk about Freeport? Okay, I, I don't believe I have mentioned Freeport. Again, you know, Freeport, similarly to Apple, still holding up this trend line. And what I basically was saying that, uh, you know, I'm waiting for the price to uh, take out this particular engulfing candles high or see how it consolidate down here, hugging along this trend line, then uh, look for a long opportunity. 
uh, swing long opportunities, swing it back up at least to this uh, this high here. But right now it's still kind of you know within this uh, this candle here inside that range and holding up on the uh, on the trend line. So we'll see what uh, tomorrow bring. Maybe it will break it, or maybe it will just uh, consolidate a little bit. So uh, so that's it for now for the stock that I have tweeted. Once again, you know if you want to uh, follow me. Just go and uh, click on this uh, follow, and you'll be able to follow me on Twitter. By the way, my Twitter's uh, screen name is a little bit different than, you know, uh, uh, just SM, SM Trader because someone seems to have already got the name using the name SM Trader. So basically, I put in SM Trader CA. Uh, so, okay. So uh, have a good day, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, uh, uh, you'll be uh, you know making a lot of money in the coming day on your trading.